The main menu and pause menu are now implemented for Portal 64. This lets you save, load games, and even has options for binding controls and changing sensitivity, and you can invert your controls now. The controller options even takes input from the first two controllers, so you can bind movement to one joystick and looking to the joystick on the other controller and get a two joystick experience. In theory, you should be able to use the Nintendo 64 mouse on the second port and use that for looking. I haven't tested it as the mouse's the mouses? I haven't tested it as the N64 mouse is kind of expensive and ships from Japan, typically. For now, I'm just going to leave it untested. I might get one later for testing. As for saving and loading, I, uh, the game can fit about seven save slots. The uh, screenshot's kind of low quality. I had to make a compromise because there's not a lot of memory to store information. I could increase the amount of memory I have for saves, but I have to change the save type. There are three different save types you can use on the Nintendo 64. EEPROM, SROM, and Flash. Now, they all have their own advantages and disadvantages. Um, EEPROM is the smallest. It can really store only up to two kilobytes of data, so it's not a lot of memory to store things. But then there's SRAM, which is I'm using, and that can store up to 32 kilobytes, which is quite a bit more memory, but it has the disadvantage that it needs a battery in the cartridge to keep the memory. If you have any old games that don't hold save files, consider opening up and checking to see if it has a battery. If it does, replace it and you might just fix your game. SRAM is also the fastest save type. You can take advantage of the Nintendo 64's DMA or direct memory access engine to directly copy from RAM to the cartridge and back. So you can get really, really fast access times to the save file. The last save type is flash RAM. It has a whopping 128 kilobytes, four times as much as SRAM, and it doesn't require a battery backup. Um, but I'm using SRAM. Which, you know, maybe wondering, okay, why would, be, well, why would I be using SRAM when I could be using flash RAM and have more memory? Well, I want to be able to put Portal 64 on a physical cartridge, a standalone cartridge, and there are only a few manufacturers that create standalone flash carts for that purpose. One of those is RetroStage, and they support SRAM, but not flash RAM. There is another alternative, but in order to use the flash RAM, you have to harvest the flash RAM chip from existing Nintendo 64 games. It doesn't feel right destroying a Nintendo 64 game to make mine. So I decided to go with SRAM because then I had the option of building cartridges that use that save type. Now, flash carts like the EverDrive do support flash RAM. So I might in the future allow the game to detect if it's on EverDrive and switch to the save type of flash so I can have better screenshots. But that is not a high priority and that will be a feature that comes later if I get, get around to it. And now that the game has the main menu and pause menu, it feels so much more like a game. So it's a, it's a huge step closer to the final product. So I'm pretty excited for you guys to try that out and I'll see you next time.